Hi, my name is Hart Seeley. I'm a reporter from the Syracuse Post Standard. And it's spring. And in spring, you know, a young man's ideas turn to baseball and daffodils and rebirth and, uh, you know, rebuilding the personal home arsenal. So we're going to go into the flea market of firepower, the Central New York Gun Show at the State Fair, where they have had a, a huge crowd on Saturday and a huge crowd today. And we had to practically park in Lakeland and take shuttle buses over here at the Great State Fair. So here's the deal. We're going to go in and we're going to look for the best bargains for $20. Because as you know, every week we get $7 more from our stimulus package. And so I have hoarded two weeks worth, plus stolen my wife's $7. She never watches these things, so she won't know. And we're going to wave around a crisp Jackson here and see what we can buy. The best deals at the gun show. And you know, by the way, I'm not gonna buy a $20 gun. I'm not as dumb as I look. $20 gun would probably shoot me or, or the bullets would bounce off a turtle. The deal is this. I'm gonna look for something that's gun-like, okay? Sort of in a Harvey Keitel way or maybe a Mickey Rourke playing Dog the Bounty Hunter type thing. I'm going for something that's going to be, you know, edgy. I'm the kind of like the spokesperson. Okay, the spokesperson for the arms collector. I'm a director. Okay. And uh, and, and your name is Doug, Doug Roberts? Roberts. Right. Okay. Uh, for starters, it's a big crowd today. Right? Well, it's, it's a nice turnout for a Sunday. For a Sunday? Yeah. The people were telling me outside that yesterday's crowd was huge. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that is? Well, I put a little sign up on the uh, wall that the Mr. B.O. In, in Washington is the finest gun salesman that we have. Well, it used to be Clint Eastwood. Uh -huh. I but you. now, uh, the rumors that come out of Washington about ammunition and firearms, I think that people want them now before this maybe takes place. I'm not going to say that we don't have a gun in our house, because that would be like telling the world. Right. The truth of the matter is we've got rugs that lead to pits with snakes at the bottom of it. If a That's guy good. tries to get in our house, That's good. you know, better than guns. What I have is a crisp $20 Jackson. And this is Andrew, not Reggie. Right, right. This is this is $20. Yep. And I'm looking for what would be the hot deals at this so-called mecca of hot deals. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the best absolute bargain at the gun show. Uh, <laughs> metals patches for a couple bucks. Now you know these are sort of these are sort of like sacred items. I mean these yeah. are very cool. Are these authentic? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know though I, I couldn't I couldn't put any of these on. I would feel like I was a phony. I, I would be a total yeah. phony. Listen, uh, this is pretty cool stuff, but you know it's gonna take a, an incredible thing to get this 20 out of my cold dead hand. <laughs> Do you have anything for twenty dollars here? We got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, magazines. Uh huh. Uh, now you're talking of gun magazines. You're not talking of like uh, you no, know Sports not, Illustrated. No. Now I'm looking for something that says, "You stay away from me," because I I got something here. Well, unfortunately, we don't sell stuff like that. But there are some guys who have. Uh, a lot of knives and things of that yeah, nature, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, um... No, I'm not looking for that either. Uh, it's just sort of something that, you know, like, you hang on your wall. Well, let me show you something. Here's my, here's the t-shirt that I was thinking of wearing, but I, I, you know, wasn't presentable. The guy who walks in like this. Do you ever get guys like that? <laughs> so that's what the next truck is supposed to tell you. Yeah. Whether or not you have a customer who has serious mental or criminal problems. Yeah. Well, I mean, the t-shirt my kids bought me. Oh, I agree. <laughs> you should see the other ones. That, you see the other ones. That yeah, right. If I were looking for personal protection here, I would get a, uh, a small pistol. And how much might that cost, roughly? One of the smaller, inexpensive guns are probably still in the hundred dollar range. Hundred dollar range. Okay. What if I want personal protection from a squirrel? <laughs> okay, I'm going for the. I'm going for the uh, the mixed the mixed brass oh. and the. Days on Lock and River by Muriel Forst Foster. Now this, now this is a they're not uh, rifle caliber. Not a great deal of interest in them, but uh, well, I'm going to scatter these around my car 
if anybody you can buy an empty box for a dollar and get much the same effect. Throw it in there. Throw it in there for both. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. There we go. I'll tell you something. My testosterone levels just oh. leaped oh. by 150 <laughs> percent. First off, I want to thank Mr. Roberts for showing us around, and I want to tell you. I came with 20 and I have $2 left for uh, gas and I have the days on lock and sea and river. I have $12 worth of miscellaneous gun casings which can be used for uh, keepsakes, uh, maybe I can do some engraving on these things. Uh, what, 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 what do you think I could do with these, Doug? Sprinkle them around on your floor. Sprinkle them around on the floor. I think that's great. In my, in my lake house. In your lake house. And also, if the people don't get the message, I have the empty box of Winchester Magnum Rimfire, which I'm just going to leave in a strategic right. location. On the dashboard. On the dashboard. and. Uh, you know, the hitchhiker is going to know that uh, this is one guide to the galaxy that he didn't want to take. Oh, yeah. 